starting the Great Ocean Road tomorrow and we are stopping over tomorrow night in Apollo Bay um, and then carrying on from there. Other than that, other than that. I know that's the word I keep saying, but I just don't say good. Um, in other news, my finger is recovering <laughs> pretty alright. If you can see it. Um, we did go to hospital like two weeks ago, a bit too late after the incident, because um, it wouldn't stop bleeding. So I went to the hospital in St. Helens, and the nurse was like, oh, good job with that. And then she called over the doctor, and the doctor was like, ah, Generally speaking, when you cut part of part of your finger off, you should um, probably come into the hospital straight away and not leave in two days. So, okay. No, we had a good spot at the beach, so. Yeah, it's a bit of a fear of needles and blood and stuff, so I thought, um, if I just forget about it, it'll be fine. But it wasn't, so yeah. All good though, it's growing back. They said it should grow back. So here we are at our first stop at the Great Ocean Road. Uh, we're here at Split Point Lighthouse, which is the lighthouse where they filmed the TV show Around the Twist. Um, Have you ever, ever felt like this? How strange things happen. Are you going around the twist? It's pretty cool, even though I didn't watch it as a kid. But pretty nice views around here. The morning started out like terribly we woke up to rain like proper rain on the van this morning and it's cleared up really nicely which is good um we drove past bells beach where there's actually the surf competition on at the moment so we couldn't go down there because i've blocked off all the roads which is fine but we'll keep heading on Alright, so we're halfway to Apollo Bay. We just had lunch in Lawn. Went to a little bakery there, which was nice. It was average. It was average. <sighs> it was alright. Um, and now we're at Erskine Falls, um, which is like 15 minutes drive out of Lawn and off the Great Ocean Road, which is a pretty nice waterfall. It's in like mossy forest, which is always lovely. Alright, 
So here we are at one of the stops on the Great Ocean Road. This is the Razorback, which is like three kilometers away from the 12 Apostles, which is that way. And it's pretty cool. So here we are at London Bridge. London Bridge was actually once connected to the mainland, however on the 15th of January 1990, part of the bridge connecting to the land collapsed into the ocean. Luckily no one was injured, however it did leave two people stranded on the now island, which were later rescued by helicopter. This happened exactly two days after my mum had visited and walked across this once bridge. Alright, so Tim and I just got to camp. We are staying at a free camp here in Pamua, which is in Warrnambool. Um, so the facilities are just bathrooms and we've got this beautiful view behind us and a lovely little bridge. So hopefully that quiets down a little later tonight. I'm sure it will. And yeah, it's a pretty nice view. So we are in Port Ferry and we are just walking towards the lighthouse along a little nature track and there's lots of dead nature. It's just We've a track. Past like 10 dead birds, a dead what kangaroo, wallaby. wallaby. Yeah, kangaroo. So it's a bit grim. Um, so hopefully the lighthouse is a bit nicer than other dead birds. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> Just a little bit of clarification with the earlier topic of all the dead birds. Uh, Timmy did a little bit of googling and he read that through their migration process to Port Ferry, some of the birds are extremely exhausted or some of them are quite elderly Elder. and they <laughs> unfortunately do just pass away that way. So that's why there are a fair few dead birds around. It's just through migration and death. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The next stop is Tower Hill, that volcano thingy I was trying to explain earlier. Tower Hill was once formerly an active volcano which erupted 34,000 years ago. Now inactive, the created land is now home to some of Australia's most iconic wildlife, such as native birds and animals, including emus, koalas, kangaroos, wallabies, echidnas, and seasonal reptiles. And yes, I mean snakes, which you'll see in just a second. You'll also see a traffic jam caused by an emu. Emu. Nice butt. <laughs> 